ready. Okay. I think we are live. Y'all let me know here in the chat. Um, just do a quick audio check, but it looks like I think I got all my stuff run. It's been a little bit since I've done this, so uh, yeah, definitely excuse any kind of snafus. But I think we're going good here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, then, uh, cr quick early welcome to the Joker, uh, one of my OGs. Thanks for stopping in tonight, sir. And we got the Goat World beats so yeah thanks guys for jumping in here right at the start of the show and um uh, yeah so like i said it's been about uh six months or so since i've done a live stream i was really on a good heading with that as far as doing different builds and then doing a live stream and then following it up with uh, some summary of the those builds but um lots of things have happened uh, personally in my life which are good things though but it's just got me real busy and uh, content creation has been a little on the slow uh, i'm definitely trying to make better time and use of that and try to get you guys back to my normal schedule which is usually around like three to four times a month or so and at least one live stream a month so um but anyway yeah it feels good to be back into it um it's been a little bit but i'm real excited to do this and so let's talk about what we're getting into here um, so as you, if you guys have not checked out, um, I will go back and edit the description, uh, cause I think I forgot to put the link to the previous video that we did on that is surrounding this build. So this build is for specifically for playing, for playing Starfield, uh, big new hot game. And, um, I played it a little bit here and there. I'm not, not real deep into it. Uh, but I figured, you know, we went out in a uh, parts hunt video. We found some parts that hopefully would lock us in some pretty good hardware to play Starfield. Targeting that, but also targeting $500. You guys, I pulled you a little while back. Wanted to see another build. And um, $500 was the mark. And I think that's a, always a really good place to build from. And it's been a while since I've done a $500 build. So I really want to see like what I could actually do and get. And I think we got a pretty solid one tonight. All right, so I'm going to just clear off most of the table here and uh, just get ready to start building here. We'll talk about each part as we go along down the stream and um, see, you know, talk about where we got it from, what its relevance in the build, and um, yeah, we'll, you know, we'll hang out. Get this, uh, I got this power supply and SSD tucked in there. I forgot that was in there. Okay. So how are all y'all doing tonight? I know it's a Monday night football, so some people are probably busy watching that. I actually got it going over on a screen just to keep tabs on my fantasy because I do have a player playing tonight. But anyway, so like always, we're going to start here with the motherboard and just uh, switch our view here. So a little bit of both, um, but we've got, we went out and found, and it still seems like really good value in the b450 boards although they're pretty much going to be on their way out so i would expect to not to be able to find really good deals on these for too much longer uh obviously the used market is good but we actually found this one brand new on amazon in the uh parts hunt video so that was really awesome and uh i, I can't quite recall what we got this for i think it was around 60 70 bucks again go back and check out the parts hunt video that's where we're digging through all the parts and trying to map out a actual budget but definitely got a, a pretty good deal on this board being a B450 brand new from Amazon and it's got Wi-Fi. So it kind of takes all the boxes and you guys know me. I love the Gigabyte boards and I I would change it up if they weren't just so good and always well priced. So that's kind of why we have stuck with what we've got for this long. And uh, yeah, uh, they're very re reliable. So I can definitely highly recommend them. All right, I'm trying to just get this open for the first time. And we're kind of doing this in the raw, too, guys. I haven't tested, like, the only I've only tested one part, and that was a GPU because I did buy it used, which we'll talk about. But everything else, you know, this isn't exactly what I would say is advisable. Obviously, test your parts before you start building. Um, so we're just going to kind of YOLO it tonight and uh, hope that all of our parts work right out of the box. Yeah, it's some extra hard drive cables that we don't need. So we're going to throw this here right on top of the box. Oh, I forgot to get uh, the IO shield. And it's probably in there. It is. 
it's actually been a little bit of time since I've even done a PC build altogether. So um, all this is going to be a, a nice little fun rehash for me. Let's take a quick sip of water. And by the way, guys, make sure I want this, uh, the, the setting here, I also like if you guys have not uh, been in my live streams before, I try to make this as just kind of like a hangout fun session where uh, if you got if you got questions, feel free to throw them away in the chat. Uh, throw them out there in the chat. Throw them away. That's kind of bad wording there. Throw them out there in the chat. I will do my best to keep an eye. I got a monitor where I'm monitoring you guys, but also sometimes my head's down looking at the the hardware that we're working with, and I don't quite see everything that goes by. So definitely uh, feel free to throw it out there, and we'll try to answer that for you. As well as I know we've got some people that uh, I'm seeing some of my OGs that have been on the stream before and they can also help too like i see pinky tech is in the chat thank you pinky tech for joining up uh he's also a youtuber and pc builder just kind of like me so if you guys aren't subscribed to his stuff make sure you are but he's also a good resource if you guys got questions all right and we do have one question here from joker i have a question i have a b450 gigabyte uh I think it's Oris board. Yeah, Oris board. Yeah. Would you update the BIOS or get the B550 or DDR5B650? So, uh, kind of just depends on what you're going after there. I mean, like, I'm not huge on doing BIOS updates all the time. Sure. Like, you maybe you just want to like read the re the release notes and just find out what it's addressing. Sometimes it is addressing important things, like maybe power profiles are too crazy and it's causing cpu to heat up you know excessively or maybe there's even a security vulnerability where you you really should update your bios if that be the case so um now I, i'm guessing there joker you're you're saying you would like to maybe update the, the b450 bios so you can probably do a more modern processor like a 5000 series processor i'm guessing that's where you're going with that um but yeah then going beyond that you're then going into next echelon which uh the uh, DDR5 platform would, uh, yeah, you could still definitely go get a B650. Uh, That's the latest generation Ryzen. Uh, the reason we're on B450 is mainly because of cost. Uh, so yeah, those, those new, so this is relatively, even though this is a brand new board, it is considerably relatively dated. Uh, but they, they have been keeping up with the BIOS, which is really nice. Uh, I hope they don't, I, th I believe I heard something with Intel where they're going to drop. Uh, some of the more recent boards, like uh, there's like the 500 and 600 series boards for all their new stuff that's coming out. So that's kind of weird. Uh, AMD's been really good with keeping up with their support. So I think hopefully I answered your question. If not, feel free to elaborate. I'm going to grab our CPU here real quick. Just got it down here in my pile of parts. All right. And uh, the next thing we got here on the parts list, again, you know, if you haven't seen the video, go back and check it out. Uh, give a detailed explanation. But we've got uh, another part here that's kind of on the way out in terms of um, its relevancy in the market, especially brand new, but still can be found. And we've got ourselves a Ryzen 5 3600. Um, did manage to get this brand new from Amazon. I believe it was Amazon. Or it, was either, it was either Amazon or Newegg, I think. Uh, for $95. So it's a heck of a deal still if you can find it. Um, comparable, I think, in that video, I was trying to see if I could find a more modern um, Intel part that costs around the same amount. I just was not able to find a board and CPU combo that, I mean, we're talking 150 bucks right here. In
Okay, I think I'm good now. Uh, just to... Let me just double check with you guys. Make sure you can still hear me. That was not what I was expecting. Forgot to charge my headset. I do have, I think, a long enough cable I can deal with. But let me know if you can hear me, if we're still good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, sorry about that. My headset was low, and I thought I was going to get by for at least a good 40, 50, maybe even an hour worth of minutes. And, uh, yeah, didn't even get close. So, whoops. All right, let's put it on the overhead cam to show...
Okay. I might have knocked my cable loose or something. All right, I see. I see I got some feedback. Not sure how long I went there with that audio. I think you guys can hear me now. Man, I'm just keeping you guys on your toes, I guess. Did not get this headset charged. Give me a quick thumbs up. Okay, cool. So I don't know exactly. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm, I think I pulled on my headset cord there. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep. I'm gonna keep real close eye on my audio. Yeah, dummy me forgot to charge up the headset, so we're we're having to do it uh, while we're connected. Anyway, what I was talking about is um, the cooler looks like to be the taller cooler. The Spire cooler, I think, is the taller one, which I wasn't expecting to get. I think the uh, 3600 actually comes with the shorter one, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, got a little bit of a. a, a, a Okay, so you guys can hear me. Okay. Okay, so if you... One sec, yeah, I just have to fix my audio source. Let's Okay. 
Get out of here, Dad. Okay, there's a test there. Tut. Okay. All right. All right, let's see. There's one scene, scene, another scene. And another scene. I think I got everything. Okay, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're having fun. Uh, this, is this is what happens when I don't do this for six months and now I'm all screwed up. But I guess at least I'm, uh, if anything was entertaining. Fun times, fun times. Okay, so anyway. We are getting this cooler zipped down. Uh, I think I got too much of an angle on it now because I was trying to look at my screen more than anything. It's on camera. Oh, is there an echo? Ah! Hang on. There, how's that? I think that should be better now. Yeah. No, I think, uh, I just silence one audio input. Is it still echoing right now? Test, test, test. Do we have an echo still? There we go. I broke it? I don't, I don't trust you. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is going on? going going on it sounds far away my goodness I'm gonna hold on let me strip everything all my audio input one sec Let's see. Okay, test one, two. Okay, I think I got it. Hang on. There's that one. Okay. I think. You might be good now. Give me a quick check if you don't mind, guys. I, but I, I believe I had uh, something wrong selected. Does it sound echoey or does it sound clear? Now? Yeah, I thought I had everything set up correctly. Although it's been a little while. How's it sounding? Sounding clear? No echo, sounding just faint. I feel like I see my audio level going up real high, even though the map. Hmm. So. Feedback off. Mic on. Mic feedback off. Then 
I'm using the Corsair HS80. Um, seems that it's worked before in the past, but I'm having a problem right now. Since it died, now I'm running into issues. <laughs> Let me see if I can bump the gain on this here real quick. I think I can. I don't think I can run like that. Sorry guys, this is not at all what I was anticipating. Yeah, we can figure it all out together. <laughs> now let's see here. Shoot, let's do it. Search. Okay, so. Used to be a virtuoso. Uh, oh wait, hang on. How's that? Hi. Oh, wait a sec. I screwed something up. Hang on. that sound uh, I think I've <laughs> it's gonna be funny when there we go okay so yeah um, I was in a in a panic thinking my wasn't gonna get this headset working so I grabbed my other my other headset and uh, it was picking it up across the room so I'm a dummy I'm a huge dummy so we're good now so it was <laughs> you guys are hearing me from my, that's actually pretty solid that it has a, a game that's sensitive enough to get that it's usually like a cancellation but Hilarious. Okay, so we're trying to get the stupid uh, CPU cooler on. Let me make sure my next scene is okay. You guys still hear me good? Looks like the va the gain's good there and here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. I think we're just about here getting the CPU cooler on. I'm trying to get it on. Yep, there's that. Oop, I'm pulling up way too high on that side. Yeah yanked it too hard on this one side so that is the trick with these if you guys have never done these coolers is don't try to tighten one side too much i was not i was just simply not paying attention trying to fix the stream but yeah go a little bit by a little bit get it get it in a diagonal pattern get yourself nice and even on the tightening so that way it'll go down flat and i'm still struggling it looks like i'm pulling one side on it Try to get this side down a little better. What's that? Okay, we're going down nice and even now. This has been a fun night already. How are the Cowboys doing? Okay. They're still looking like they might find a way to lose. Usually this clicking noise that you guys hear, that's what you're supposed to hear when this thing is uh, getting tightened down, which it wasn't getting earlier. Almost. And one more. And basically you just screw these down until it stops. If you guys have not worked with these parts before. Do I, wow. I feel like uh, this has been a tougher one. I'm not connect, not getting a good. Uh, we're gonna yellow it here. I had three out of four. I think this one's gone now. Don't be too too. Don't be as forceful as I'm being. <laughs> okay, let's double check. We're good and stopped on all four screws. That one's good. Good, good, and good. Okay. Well, I got sweating there just a little bit after dealing with that snafu. Jesus. Wow. 
Thanks for sticking with me, guys. I, I apologize for all that. Okay, so let's try to speed this up a little more. I'm going to take the uh, PWM cable for the cooler and just plug it in the only spot it goes for the CPU cooler right in there. And this is what we're working on. And uh, we can just take the cable and just kind of give it a nice little tuck of roo underneath here. Kind of get it out, out of the way. I'm thinking I'm going to do something with this cooler shroud. Um, possibly paint it because we got some red scheme things going on with this, which uh, you guys will see here uh, in a little bit. All right, next thing we got to do here is get some RAM and an SSD installed. And first thing we will do here is the SSD, the NVMe, tried and true, team group, MP33. Uh, I got a 512 gig. So in the uh, video, we were trying to get a one terabyte. It really doesn't cost whole, a whole lot more. You can get these in the one terabyte models for about 37 bucks. Uh, but we were trying to make the $500 budget. Obviously, if you could afford to do like 13 more dollars or so, definitely go with one terabyte, especially on a board like this that only has one NVMe drive location. Although, yeah, you can always upgrade and get a bigger one or just... Um, throw in some 2.5 inch ssds but ideally if you can go a little bit more and spend a little bit more a little bit more money than 500 get yourself a larger capacity I'm trying to get this guy out of here come on okay there we go about the size of a stick of gum all right and we've got a little tiny screw on the motherboard we're going to get a shot back down on the motherboard so you guys can see what we're talking about this little guy right here we're just going to pull this guy off real fast unscrew it 509 dollar giveaway what what are you talking about <laughs> see even if things are working i can't trust the net guy to like he's gonna he's gonna try to he's gonna try to mess me up so <laughs> either way even if i am doing okay or not Okay. Yeah, as much as I like to do giveaways, which, uh, you know, in time I think I can. Um, it, most of everything I spend on these these builds goes straight into basically, I just dump it right back into the channel. So uh, take the $500-ish that I'll, I mean, this thing costs 500 bucks, right? So like if I try to sell it locally, you know, you can't really ask for a whole lot more to really make a profit. Sure, my my... It's tough to sell PCs, honestly. And um, so if I were to try to sell this and try to make a little bit more money back, I might want to list it like locally in my used market. Well, this is a brand new PC, but in my local markets for like 650 and maybe negotiate to around 600. Uh, it's tough. It's tough. And um, I know uh, definitely the net guy and uh, Pinky Tech and I have been talking about that, how sometimes the market dries up really bad and you just can't sell anything and you end up taking a loss just to recover some of the money they already spent trying to make some content on so that's the stink part uh i gotta take my hits out set off to reach this next part hang on okay <laughs> yeah and also the uh giveaways are not easy to do as what uh, Pinky is talking about because you've got uh, there's lots of extra hoops you got to jump through in order to make giveaways work. So um, a lot easier said than done. As much as I like to give to my community, and but this is how I'm giving to my community. Uh, you guys can watch me screw up a stream right at the start and laugh at me, and then uh, we can build a PC together. All right, so let me bring the camera view back down on the motherboard. We're just getting our next part installed, which I started opening and didn't tell you guys about. But we've got, uh, again, you can reference the video. We got what we bought in the, or what we found in the parts hunt video, which is a pair of Ripjaw, uh, G-Scale Ripjaw. Uh, these are 3,600. I believe they, we did, yep, 3,600, 16 gigs, uh, cast latency 18 memory. So be perfect for this build. They're black, which actually, you know, looks pretty sleek with the build. This will work perfectly for us. So we're just popping them out of here and getting it in the board. And then we'll be on our way. I'm going to try to clear my table as I go so I don't have too much junk. All right. So we already got the uh, dim slots open. 
and uh, you know always double check yourself make sure the notches are lined up as they are keyed on the motherboard this actually I have to re reverse there we go typically what I found out too is the label sticker instead of like you know the branding sticker typically faces towards the CPU that's not always the case but most of the time the case so just uh, just a little extra tip there for you get this in facing the same way cool click click that's what we want to hear alrighty let me uh, take a little swig of water here real fast while we about move into our next um, part here $20 and a glass of OJ for the PC. Oh, that sounds like a great deal. <laughs> How about a beer? That'd be better. <laughs> okay. Um, next part is the case, which let's get to that. I have to just walk off camera to go grab that guy real quick. So I'll be right back. Okay, this is going to be fun dealing with this uh, cable in the way. Let's see what it, if I got a green LED light or not. You know what? I don't trust it. We struggled so much. We're just going to leave this thing plugged in. So actually, I could do this. Skip this. There we go. Okay, so for the case here, this is what we're working with. Um, so you guys might recognize this case if you're a, if you're a regular on with my content. Um, let me get a full screen here. Um, so this is, I'm trying to remember the name of it, uh, CH370, I think it's called, from Deep Cool. Uh, don't quote me on that. I don't have any of this, the case documentation on me. Actually, it might be in the back here, so we'll double check. But this case, actually, is the case that is uh, used in Zach's Tech Turf's uh, icebreaker build that I reviewed um, back. It's been about a couple months now, but... Uh, I really like this case. Uh, it really just uh, we were looking for in the build video. We were just looking for something that was anywhere about a spend of like fifty to seventy dollars. Cases have been okay recently. It seems like in the market they've been tough to do find sometimes. Uh, but we found this one. Yeah, CH three seventy. I think that's what I said. So I think I got it right. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a pretty basic case, but it's built well, so it doesn't have any of the cheapo features that you would normally find in a $60 to $70 case. The the it, It's got some cool things like this little bracket right here is actually a GPU anti-sag bracket that you can adjust, which is really nice. Uh, not many cases, even high-end cases, come with that. Uh, not the stupid punch-out PCIe brackets, but actually uh, physically removable via tools, via the screw-in. I mean, we got a 120 millimeter, probably very basic fan. It's a three pin PWM. So yeah, it's pretty basic, but nothing else. Uh, I'm thinking, I mean, we'll probably be fine in terms of like airflow because this is, we've got a lot of open airflow and mesh design up here in the front of the case. So even though we just got this one fan, you know, obviously you know, probably leaves some to be desired. So I think what I'll probably do is just get like another black fan like this and put it in the case before I, I sell it just to provide some extra cool air in as an intake for the, the, the build. But yeah, this is, oh, okay. I'm just getting, I'm gonna get this back panel out of the way. But yeah, it's a really nice case and it's a good budget case. I mean, you can definitely populate it with a bunch of stuff um, but it's going to work perfectly well for our build being uh, the $500 build that we targeted. Uh, just checking the chat here real quick. <laughs> uh, the net guy. You, you bring that up off. That's a, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, this, that goes way back when the net guy and I first started streaming together. We were on stream and uh, my son, uh, so my, my studio is actually kind of like an open office. Uh, there's no door. Um, you guys can't see it from this camera angle, but uh, yeah, my son has uh, made his appearance sometimes, uh, whether I liked it or was hoping for it or not. But yeah, he's, uh, he's running around in the background sometimes. So I try to, I try to keep it, keep that out of there if I possibly can. 
Oh, the Cowboys scored some points. Looks like just a field goal, though. Not that I'm really pulling for him. I live in the Dallas area, but I'm not a diehard Cowboys fan. If you guys can probably tell by, you know, the Ohio State mug where, where I'm actually from. Anywho, I'm blabbering. So let's get this rolling. Let's get this motherboard in the case. First thing here, we just got to put the IO shield in. So we're opening that up and getting that guy in here. Careful with these things. They can be pretty sharp. Don't want to, don't want to have blood streaming out of my hand as another stream snafu. I think we've had plenty already. So let's just make sure we get this in here safely. Fun snapping these things in. Pretty tough to see. I'm going to try to give it an angle where you guys can see it. There we go. If I can do it this way. And just look for those pop noises. Sounds like it's all the way in. All right, now I'm going to lay it over so we can get our motherboard in. And go over to this view. Whoop, not that view. That's the, there we go, that view. Okay. So it looks like that fan cable is probably where it needs to be. Going through the back side there. And just double checking the standoffs to make sure we've got all, it looks like all the micro ATX standoffs already installed. That's good. So this should be an easy drop in. And this case actually also does come with, I think I saw it. Hold on, maybe there is one extra in there. I think, uh... Yeah, let's see here real quick. M... Oh, that's... Okay, I think I'm going good. Let's try to line up the holes. You know, it's as basic as that. Just line up the holes, make sure you got the standoffs in the right locations. That looks good. That looks good. That's good. Uh, there's one here, but it actually, there's a hole in the motherboard for a standoff, but it's not actually in the case. But yeah, I think we're, we're all set on all the others here. Uh, yep. Yep. Okay. And out back, we're looking decent. Okay. Sometimes with the IO shield, you can catch some of the metal bits of the IO shield in a wonky location. And make it hard for you to get your motherboard in. All right. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't need to be calling the medic after uh, the wasted what was that 10, 15 minutes or more that I wasted just trying to get the stupid audio working. Again, I thought I was gonna have plenty of time on this mic or on this headset before it burned out, but I was I way misjudged that. All right, so kind of off camera here. I'm um, just dealing with some screws here. I'm trying to get the motherboard screws. Uh, we need, should need about, let's see, one, two, I think around s seven or eight of them. So we're just grabbing some and we'll just grab and grab talk and screw these in while we go here. So what, uh, what side of the motherboard do you guys like to start with when you do a build? Like what, what screw do you put in first? So you have a particular one that you try to fasten down first. I usually go for like the corners and then it kind of go for the opposite corner. So I did one in the bottom right there. I'm going to spin it and actually give you guys a view of what I'm doing. And then we'll go to the one up here by the CPU power delivery. I feel like this kind of just gets everything aligned nicely. It doesn't pull everything to one side. It goes in nice and smooth. Right. Kind of want to toy with getting one of those uh, battery-powered screwdrivers, or maybe I should get an LTT screwdriver. I don't know. Give. What do you guys think? Should I should I get something, or should I just stick with the old uh, "Be Quiet" screwdriver? Oh, it did have branding on it. Oh, yeah, I've rubbed it off almost completely. These are good screwdrivers. These are what they give you when you get their, some of their coolers, not all of them, like the big tower coolers. Um, but I like it because it's, it's got, it's long to get into the build easily. And uh, I think actually we don't have, oh yeah, we do have one there. 
No, no, we don't. That's the one that doesn't have a standoff. That isn't actually attached to the body in the case. That's fine. But anyway, yeah, I like the screwdriver just because it's pretty easy to work with. Well, Barry says, I have an old Opti Optiplex that I have put some upgrades into. And what do you think I should do to make it better? So what, uh, what upgrades have you done so far to it? The, the sky is not the limit, unfortunately, with Optiplexes. You, uh, you, you don't want to go too crazy, um, but most of them, if it's like a 4th Gen i7 Optiplex, then pretty much your best bet there is, at least in CPU, is uh, uh, 40, uh, 4790. You can do a K version. I think that's kind of a waste of money, honestly, because K versions are the overclocking CPUs that you can't overclock in an Optiplex, so why... why bother getting that I'm trying to find my next screw is that one? yeah that one's good um and then obviously depends on your gpu I, I have like a whole gambit huge amount of content on optiplexes that yeah so you get oh you get so you get an older one a uh, 2600 so that's a second gen optiplex so that's uh that you're a little bit more limited there uh that cpu is quite old um, I'm thinking that that's going to be 2,600. I think that's around, uh, yeah, that's quite a bit older. Um, so I think you can actually do a 2,700 in there. Um, 2,600 might actually be the limit, but I think a 2,700 is a slightly faster i7 of that same generation that, uh, you can put in there. It might get you a little bit more megahertz in terms of speed on the processor, I'm just checking my screws, making sure I got them all. Uh, but yeah, I, where you could definitely make an upgrade is that GPU. A GT1030 is gonna gonna struggle. Um, you, I've used those. I've, I have content uh, where I've I've done builds with those older Optiplexes like that. Uh, you can, I would say, a really good find. Oh man, my fan cable's wedged. That could be an issue. Anyway, I've done uh, videos with that type of Optiplex as well. And um, you can do something like an RX 580 in there, uh, RX 570, like a GTX 1060 maybe, uh, 1070 might be pushing it. I'm just thinking in terms of bottleneck on your CPU because that is quite a bit older CPU. CPU so, uh, But I would look for that, like an RX 570, 580 and call it a day. You would have to probably do a power supply upgrade. Uh, well, yeah, you will. Those don't have, uh, can't be powered via the PCIe uh, bracket or bracket uh, slot and um, yeah you can go from there all right next thing to do power supply as we were talking about needing to get a power supply upgrade that's what you definitely need but yeah go back and check out some of my older optiplex content i do have uh, a few videos on that so um, i think the easiest way to find that is probably under my playlists i do have like dell i try to throw all my dell optiplex stuff into one playlist so that way People who are looking for that type of stuff can actually go in there and and just get an idea of you know what you know, I think I have like ten or 15, 10 to fifteen videos ish something like that maybe more of Optiplex content. All right, so next part we have here is the power supply, which we got is a EVGA six hundred fifty watt BP. So this is a tier C power supply. That's the main takeaway. But secondly. Give us plenty of juice for our GPU that we'll have here out in front of us in just a moment. Um, so power supplies are kind of tough, and I discussed this at pretty good length in the video where we went parts hunting for this build. Um, the market is pretty tough. I'll just, I mean, that's the easiest way to put it. So finding new ones of good quality, uh, you be prepared to spend probably more than you would expect to spend. I think we had to spend around... $75 for this one, which isn't terrible considering the quality of the power supply. Um, so I would have liked to maybe have gotten away with spending like 50 to 60 bucks, but it is what it is. It's always something with PC building. It's like if the power supplies are okay, if the market's good, then case market's bad or something. You know, it's, it's nothing's ever always perfect or GPUs, you know, like back in 2020, 2021. All right, so we are opening up this box here. This is a, this is a nice power supply. I do like it. Um, cool. They send you a little uh, QR code for instruction. 
I almost would have missed these screws here that are taped to the back here. We'll need those. Power cable, which we will need, obviously. And the power supply itself here. And the cool thing about this power supply, I think it's semi-modular. Maybe not. Let me double check. No, it isn't. This is all bundled up. Never mind. But still a good power supply. I think there is a BP version that is semi-modular that is a little more expensive. But that's fine. We don't we can deal with that. That's not a big deal. But the nice thing too is it's got all black braided cables. So it'll go nicely into the build. Okie doke. Alright, so let me get this at a good angle for you guys to see and just unbundle all these cables. It is bulky. When I work on stuff, I make a giant mess. This isn't just PCs, it's anything. And my wife agrees. She's listening to me. <laughs> but I pick up afterwards. Okay. So let's get this guy in. We're going to set it in fan facing down. So that way we suck a nice fresh air for the power supply. And get it screwed in. Where did I put those screws? Where they, they're there. Thoughts on Corsair white line of PSU says Nick Boucher. Um, usually the white lines are the really, really cheap ones. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention this is a bronze rated. So uh, some white lines are not like going to like nuke your system or anything like that. But uh, you, what I typically try to do is, and I feel like it's not getting quite as updated as it used to, but there, uh, Linus Tech Tips has a a list that I'm sure you guys have seen if you are into any type of PC building content that kind of gives some guidelines on what is uh, a, a good power supply to go on. A lot of the white models end up being a, like what they call a tier E, which is stay away from. I've used white power supplies before. What I always say is it depends on, of course, you know, there's other factors too to consider, but it depends on the total investment and budget in the build so like if you're doing a dell optiplex that you picked up for say shoot you can get those for like under like a hundred dollars now which by the way the guy who had the dell optiplex question it might even be better to start over and just get a a newer fresher dell optiplex one that you can get for cheap but anyway that's besides the point but if you're doing some upgrades in that like a gpu upgrade and you don't i mean when you're buying a dell optiplex you have to Okay, I'm, I'm not looking to spend more than like $350, $400, maybe, you know, even less. Yeah, you're going to probably find your, yourself, you know, in the white power supply range. So then it all comes down to, um, you know, is it worth the risk of could maybe the power supply fail and take some of my components with it? Maybe. Uh, even with those, it's like it's not like just because it's a white rated power supply, it's going to it's going to fail on you. Right. So, um so there's some things to think about. Um, obviously, if you buy a sketchy power supply, could you still get by with it and it not blow up your components? But would you trust running your PC unattended? That's another question to ask yourself. Like I would, that's where I would be most worried, not because of how much money I spent on the PC itself and maybe it possibly nuking itself due to a bad power supply, but would it burn my house down? So. <laughs> that's the things to think about so uh again like just kind of try to do your research on them and there's i'm sure there's plenty of video content out there and check out that tier list it may be so i think there are some white power supplies that rate higher than just you know garbage rating anyway so i'm talking a lot need some more water here <sighs> that guy are we in for a six hour build no 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 um okay so i do have one other thing here uh on the topic of power supplies i did buy this as extra um i bought some uh th so this is not factored into the budget of the build so i only did this because we don't have like a fancy case that has rgb lights and all that stuff and i mean it's still a nice case and you know this is actually a, a glass uh tempered glass side panel that i just removed prior to the stream but i did buy some uh some cables and i bought some red ones 
So that's why I was thinking we might do something with that CPU cooler. Um, I want to get these in. Um, we may not, you know, make it look fantastic right at the start. We'll see how, how, how much time we're investing into this. But the thing I'm thinking about here is, let me grab this now. With our cables, let's see if you guys can see it. Let me take it out of the bag here. Probably got a lot of camera glare on it. So these are Asia Horse cables. They cost like 22 bucks. I've used them. They're pretty good quality. Uh, never had any issues with them. And it's a good, easy way to spend a little amount of money to make your build pop. But this is the reason why I'm thinking about going with these. And we'll just, you know, we can install it. We can install them in stream. But look at my GPU. Got some red accents. So, I mean, I think that would pop if we do this. Plus, obviously, we're going to do this. And the maybe later on, as I when I cover the summary video of this build, when in a video to come, should we paint the shroud red? And now, the only thing is, I'm going to try to match the shroud with the reds here, which I think are pretty close on the GPU. It's not so far off where it looks like an eyesore or anything like that, but that's what I'm thinking. So, I think I'm going to go with that. So, speaking of that, you know, let me know what you think about that. I think that would look really good, the black and red, and just kind of all tied to, tie together well. But also, and, and, you know, we're not spending any, like 20 extra bucks, like I said. So, now this is a $520 build if we go with this. You know, I'm still calling it a $500 build because the components that we found are a $500 find. Uh, but what we got here in GPU is an, is an RX 5700 XT. So, we got a pretty... I would say stout C, uh, GPU to go into this build. And I found one in like such good condition. So I, this is what we found. And again, if you've watched the part hunt video, we found a really, really smoking hot deal on an RX 5700 XT for $120. This thing is in pristine condition. It doesn't even look used. Uh, it shipped in the, uh, like a brown box, but it was fine. Uh, there's, there's no damage that I did test it. So it works. It hasn't been open. So we don't have the little screw seals, uh, you know, punctured or whatever. So, I mean, this, I think is going to look hot with the, the red cable extensions. So what do you guys think? Looks like pinky tech agrees anyway. Um, so I think I'm going to continue on and get these cable extensions rolling. So that way we can start, cause we want to plug in everything first. Actually, we want to do the, the small little things first uh, as far as uh, the USB and power switch and all that before we go. With, I should, probably should have done that before I got the power supply in, actually, because now i got all these extra cables hanging out. But let me know what you guys think about the, uh, the cable extensions. I think that's going to go pretty nicely. I'm looking for some resale pop, right? Because we spent $500 on this PC. I'm not really looking, you know, I'm not going to spend another 40, 50 bucks on really anything else to make it pop like as far as like getting like fans or something it's black so i think you know the red and black looks really nice together all right so first thing here i'm just trying to feed through some of the accessory component or accessory uh cables for usb let's see we've got usb3 where's that go it is down here okay all right get this guy in Probably a little tough for you guys to see what I'm doing. This is tight. Another tip here for a cable that's like this, that's so tight on the bottom of your case like that. Um, you can get, I've featured them on my channel too. This isn't too bad, but it's kind of sticking out. Um, but you can get yourself a, like a $5 extension that takes away some of the, the amount of cable here that's sticking out, but that, that'll work. That'll flatten it out and make a make a real nice clean look. So a little tip for you if uh, this is you know you're following along with this build and you want to do this build, uh, that's probably one little extra I would do if, personally if it was me. Actually using my my uh, my personal PC too because for the same exact reasons. All right, next thing here we've got this looks like the HD audio. Yep. Uh, so I am feeding that through. I'll give you guys a view here just through the back side. Can I? Squeeze it. Yep. Let's pull it. The, the, this is the hard parts to capture on stream, unfortunately. But I'm going to do my best for you guys. Uh, and these are keyed one way. So just look at the, the uh, standoffs coming off the motherboard and match it up. Plug it in. It only goes one way. 
Yeah, you guys probably didn't see anything there. <laughs> All right, pull that back. Keep it nice and tidy. Fighting the uh, my cable to my headset, plus the power supply cables that are hanging off here. That's so I'm trying to keep it as put together as I can go. All right, next things that are left is just the uh, the switches, the power switch, reset switch, all that stuff uh, for the front or top. Everything's up here on the top, actually. There are no switches on the front. Nice, nice, good clicky switches. And uh, they sound good. Okay. Let's see, I believe all that's right up here. I've used this board so many times. I can almost do this in my sleep. Okay. I'm just going to lay this over, and this is going to be, well, I need it to be, need to be able to see here, so you guys probably uh, won't be able to see this part, but what we're doing is we're, we're lining up and plugging things in where they go in according to, in accordance to where the motherboard says they need to go. Um, generally, things are usually in, in the same exact spots uh so if you've done it one time you can probably expect to see him in the right location the next time don't check here reset and hard drive i think i yeah i don't have any power i don't have any leds in the power button so we don't have to do that part so that's nice sometimes it's easy to just group these together too and then plug them in so that's what i'm doing here real fast I guess we have a hard drive LED indicator somewhere. I don't know. Oh, I think there's a little tiny LED up there. Yep. It wants that as well. That's a tough one to plug in. I mean, you don't even really need to plug that in, honestly. That's, I guess, if you just want to be able to take a quick glance at it. And know your hard drive's working. I guess if your system's running, you're navigating around in Windows, and you only got one hard drive as it is I think that's indication enough right but us nerds like blinky lights okay all right there we go that's actually pretty easy to manage out back to as far as these little tiny cables so I'm just gonna tuck them away a little bit down in there now we're gonna get to these guys we'll get the GPU in last but I'm gonna bring it back overhead so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm working on here. The only thing here I'm kind of disappointed in, I guess it, you know, it's not any fault of Asia Horse. The cable combs are red as well. That's like red on red. I think I have some black ones with some ones that I've used before. Um, yeah, let me go check that out. I wanna see if I can put, cause I think some black combs would go perfect with this. One sec. Well, I do not, unfortunately. I had another box of these for a build I did a long time ago. They are white, so we don't have any black. I think that would really make these look perfect, but we'll just go with the red. Uh, there's more of like a translucent, transparent looking red and just a flat looking red. So we're gonna go with the, like the flat red. I think that'll look fine. <laughs> it's a bio break now. That's after the stream. All right, so get these out of here. We won't need to use all of them, I don't think. I might go back and even just buy like a some black combs or black 
another like just a black pair i don't know let's see how this looks it'll look probably okay all right so i think usually with like the 24 pin i probably put about two of the big combs on and then yeah about two on each so this is this is kind of the tedious thing here so this is the motherboard facing side that's got the clip this is the side that extends off of your power supply so we're gonna just try to slap this on here real fast so if i were I, and you also if you want you know it doesn't matter to you but orientate the asia horse logo because it's reading you know you guys probably can't see it on this camera but if you want it reading a certain way when it's in your build, just to consider that as you're putting these things on here. <clears throat> kind of a tedious task. Might just do one because this is kind of boring. Usually what I do with these is I tend to get the first front row started and that kind of gets it guided well to get the rest in. I, I never do this 100% the first time. I always tend to screw it up and get one cable not where it needs to go. Nope. I might have just... No, no, no we're, I think we're still going good. Okay. There we go. So then that's about what we got for our product that we're putting into the build. Let's do one more. That didn't take too long. That way I can take a chance to actually see what you guys are up to in chat. <clears throat> Anybody uh, into fantasy football got any fantasy players tonight to decide if you're going to win or lose for the week? I definitely do. I have, a, I have to check my team. Because I'm a little worried I might, may or may not lose. We'll see. I'm in second place in my league. Just a family league, but it's always fun. It's just fun to drive back and forth on that. Uh, I hope I don't get three and one. We'll find out. Nice. I think that's the fastest I've ever done that without screwing it up. Nice. Okay. So let's get this one in first real fast. Um, find our 24 pin. This is definitely gonna be a, a fair amount of cable bulk to deal with out back, but that's okay. We'll find a way. We won't do that on stream though. I don't like the cable management on stream, unless you guys really wanna see it, but you're talking like extending the stream for, uh, then you would get your six hour stream there, John. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let me spin this guy back around so you guys can see it. All right. And I think we need to come through the top there. There we go. Oh, yep. I told you I always tend to do this wrong. <laughs> so we got our we got our cable comes backwards. I'm not gonna mess with it right now. It's just gonna require so much extra effort. But plan that out before you just YOLO it like I just did. But you'll get the idea. We got some red accents going. I mean they're still kind of relatively well put together. The cable comes just upside down. But there we go. A little bit of red action. I like it. Let's grab the one for the CPU and GPU. It really, yeah, Pinky, it really doesn't, like, there's a good amount of open space in this case. Like, I have, like, you can, like, you even have the option, I think, yeah, to remove the 3.5 inch hard drive. Uh, actually, I can show it to you. Oops. Yeah, so we got a fair amount of, of space to deal with and you can remove the hard drive it's kind of hard to see here but you can remove the hard drive uh, cage for a traditional hard drive which would give you a ton of room down below 
Um, I'm gonna just try to leave it in just in case, you know, because this will this build will be sold off probably locally. Um, just to, you know, like I said, to refund my YouTube efforts. So I tend to try to keep things as they are and not have a bunch of, you know, like some people aren't, you know, don't have any clue what they're doing with PC building and. Um, I want to try to leave it as as in the state that it came as possible. Okay, so let's we got to do. Okay, so here's one thing to note: if you guys get ever work with cable uh, extensions, here let me put it up on screen. Can't remember who won the four hundred dollar PC build challenge. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, definitely nobody here on stream. Uh, that's that's for sure. <laughs> Uh, so the net guy's talking about a challenge that me himself and Pinky Tech uh, embarked on. What was, when was that, guys? That was like back in April, right? Um, where we also pair, uh, we teamed up or collabed with. I wouldn't say a team up because it was a contest uh, with Danny from the net or from the uh, Nerd on a Budget channel, and uh, I almost had the win in the bag, guys. I almost did, and. Note to uh, anyone who competes in anything, don't celebrate too early. That's all I can say. <laughs> anyway, uh, about the cables that I was going to mention, uh, if you guys never worked with these, the uh, cables that are split like this, this is designed to be a GPU cable because if you look, this looks eerily very similar, but CPU cables typically will split on a 2x2 two two basis. So with a GPU cable, you'll have a 6 plus 2 to make an 8, uh, so just keep that in mind so that way you don't plug these in wrong. It's pretty easy to tell uh, by that factor. So um, you don't want to blow up anything. So I'm going to get the GPU cables just out of the way for the moment. So as this thing would come in, uh, I'm just trying to make sure I don't screw up the orientation again. Okay, so the clip side is on the bottom. So we're talking about... Cable being plugged in like that. So we need to put the cones on top like that. <laughs> you have a, I, yeah, didn't you clip that and put your put that on your uh, one of your, your your social medias or something like that? If you haven't, you know, you have my permission, do it. That would be that's all that was awesome. I couldn't think of a more entertaining, fun way to end the stream, right? <laughs> it was all it was all in the plans. But yeah, if you guys uh, want to see a fun little stream, go check that out. Uh, we did those four hundred. That was that was probably the most content creator fun I've had ever doing YouTube stuff. That was a lot of fun. It was a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun. And we all had some really awesome builds. Every one of us. And here's the good thing about cable cones, especially with these split cables like this, it, it actually helps keep them together. So that is a neat little perk. How's the Monday Night Football going? Looks like I just saw a recap of Dak Prescott running for a touchdown. I don't see a score yet. Okay, there's that. And let's find the, the CPU cable. Ah, perfect. We get first one we grabbed, and we're just gonna put the clip ends together. Gonna try just like so and feed the cable through all right we're coming this direction oh yeah that extra red is starting to make this pop okay we got the cable combs going the right direction this time that's good Got to be able to plug it in. Struggling just a little. There we go. Got it. Okay. So yeah, two is good. On two comes is perfect for just this little short run. Probably could do with one, but two will help keep it together. Like I mentioned, more red going into that bill. Yeah. I think. What do you think? Should I paint the shroud? Well, let's get it all together first, and then we can make a decision on that together. All right, so last of these are the... So we've got an RX 
5700 XT as mentioned and the main thing to note here is it's uh, and also why I went with a 650 watt power supply it's got two power connectors we got an 8 pin and we got a 6 pin so we got to do both these cables and get it all connected up so we're gonna have to put on eh, four more cable cones not too bad but here's at least the benefit of having the GPU out of the system come on get on there we can double check our runs our cable comb runs so it will be like this so we need to put the cones on clip side up so sometimes that matters depending on the orientation of the clip of the connector on your motherboard etc yeah so Dallas is looks like a tight game 10 to 7 all right let me get a couple more of these on here Who's y'all's football team? Or do y'all watch football? I'm just making conversations as I <laughs> very boringly put these cable combs on. Jonathan Talks Hardware is in the house. What's up, buddy? Thanks for joining up. One, another one of my OGs. Uh, all three of ours OG. Yeah, uh, he frequents the Net Guys content. My content and pinky guy and he's also a content creator himself the books hey uh y'all got my uh, uh well i'm browns fan although i'm not a big baker mayfield fan but y'all got baker did you the uh pinky did the bucks win i don't know i, I think i saw uh, baker's numbers at least on fancy football not looking so hot You can have back. <laughs> well, there's a reason why. Yeah. He's not a a great quarterback, I'd say. He's okay. Maybe if he finds the right team. I don't know. I'm fumbling around with this one. Dang it. <laughs> Steeler Nation. Oh man. Yeah, I'll see I'm a Browns fan. I, I you're gonna have to leave now, sorry. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Appreciate you being here. I think uh Zach's Tech Turf is a big Steelers fan from what I've seen. So anytime especially if they're playing, I try to get on his social media and jive with him a little bit or get on one of his streams. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at some, looks like a question coming in. Casey Wall says, dude, can a PC be built for $500 that even beats the series X? Uh, I mean, I think so. Yeah. I mean, I, I'd say this is probably a PC that can very well contend with a series X. Um, I mean, the, the, the thing is, is like, you want to be like, you're a PC enthusiast then at that point, if you're, you're trying to get into the PC realm at that Pete, five hundred dollars is a, I would say, a pretty, I want to say, bottom tier budget. I mean, you go, you go any, anywhere below five hundred dollars, then you're really looking at, you know, really trying to skimp together a build, <laughs> like we did with our four hundred dollar builds. Uh, I mean, this is a fifty seven hundred XT. This is a beast of a card. Um, and the thing here too is like with a five hundred dollar build is, especially with this build. I'll go back to this cam get a quick drink you are setting up a platform so even um if you don't stay with this gpu or the cpu you still have plenty of platform left to upgrade to actually and you sometimes don't even have to spend a lot of money like 6000 series cards aren't really going for much more uh than the 5700 x um so they're there you spend a little bit more not even up to 600 dollars, and you could i'd say you can get a pretty good leap in performance so And that's a good point there. What uh, the net guy just said, you're paying 60 to $80 for games. I mean, sometimes you are with PC too. Um, I guess it depends too if you have an Xbox Live account, how that works. But um, yeah, I mean, that is one thing too is like, although I guess, I mean, I'm not a console player. Uh, so I, I don't have a huge pool of knowledge to pull from there. Um, 
the only console games I've ever really liked to play were like racing games or sim games, I guess. And I don't really play those types of games often enough to justify buying a console. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, it, they're solid machines. But that's what you get. That's all you get. And so those games are, are with a PC, that everybody loves a PC and for the fact that you can customize your gaming environment way more than with a, with a console. Like if you're a big Fortnite player and you, you're just after frames, you, I mean, you're going to get it with a PC versus a console that's only going to be limited to that frame amount. So anyway, I feel like I'm blabbering a little bit on that. Okay, so... I think, I'm trying to think, what should I do? Install the, G yeah, I'll install the GPU first and then get the cables in. But we got the cables ready to go. All right, so like I mentioned here with this case, it's pretty solid quality. We just got this, man, that sucker's on there. Uh, thumb screw, where's my screwdriver, big screwdriver. Got a thumb screw here to pull this little <coughs> PCIe bracket or PCIe expansion away. This is more, more or less just serves as like a dust cover, I guess, or decorative cover but the the pcie brackets are not breakaway with this case this case is 65 70 bucks so that's a i'd say that's a win for this price price range i'm gonna yeah i can't do that that way sorry guys i gotta see what the heck i'm actually doing but we're just pulling off the pcie brackets need to start with the second and third one Series X GPU power is equivalent to of a a 6700 XT. I don't know about that. I mean, I don't want to say you're wrong, but that's a pretty beefy GPU. I mean, those those uh those consoles are APU systems. They're not they're not they don't have dedicated GPUs. They they are everything's on the CPU. Everything's on the chip. That's also why they can make them smaller, right? Because you don't. I mean, look at this. This is a this is a fair amount of space we're going to be using to. So like, you build a, build a console around this. Good luck. So that's why they use those APUs. Uh, I'm not saying you're wrong though, but I'm just kind of curious. I, I would that would be something maybe I would have to do more of my research on. Again, like I said, I'm not a big console guru in terms of knowledge of them. I know their APUs is they are they are APU driven, but you're not going to beat a PC ever when it comes to console versus PC. The only time you would beat a PC is like if you're comparing it to like an older or real budget system, right? Otherwise, PC always wins. And that's not me bias talking. That's just reality. I think why PCs are, I think why people get into them is because they, they're, you can make them customizable. I've built so many PCs in my life and I've had so many return clients that I build like, a five six hundred dollar system for and they come back wanting more so that's usually the general thing that you find with pcs or they get into them themselves and they start building pcs right all right just getting this last screw in for the gpu i don't think this gpu is long enough to actually use that sag bracket i'm just curious i'm gonna check uh oh it is it's we can use it just ever so slightly that's cool so we got that gpu nice and level check that out we can use that bracket awesome i like that that's another big win i think okay so let's get the i'm going to just go ahead and plug in the power cables for the gpu first and then we'll run them towards the back because here's what we're dealing with we've got the spare tube pin that we're not going to Use. So I'm going to plug it in and then we'll run it out of the way so it'll look nice and neat. Just stand by on that. Nothing. Okay. Uh, is there, just trying to see where I run this. I think I want to just go straight underneath. Try to feed this through here. Kind of like where our pins were for the power switch and stuff. This is, maybe I should have done the cables first because now I'm trying to do this right underneath the GPU and I got nowhere to work with. Come on. Almost got it through. Come on, come on. 
gonna get me a sweat near. <clears throat> yeah, maybe uh, GPU installation first. Was it? Well, maybe, or I can just send it somewhere else. I think that would look perfect. They'll go right through that hole. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to make it work. Hey, Test Smart is in the in the chat. Hey, that's cool. Thanks for joining, guys. Um, if you guys didn't know, I did a review of their their big boy KVM switch. Um, shoot, when was that? That was probably yeah, th I believe that was before the the four hundred dollar builds that we were talking about earlier. But did one of those. Man, that, that thing I use it every day. Uh, I've got my work laptop connected to it. I actually, have another PC I'm going to be connecting up to it. I'm using three monitors, and I also connect up my main editing and uh, gaming rig that runs the channel. And yeah, I love it. So really good product through TestSmart. Check out my review by them, or T-Smart, sorry I'm, if I'm mispronouncing. Uh, check out my review on that that guy. Uh, they do have cheaper, more, you know, uh, better options for people who are looking to get more into a budget like if you just need a two monitor setup um i you know i i i, I reviewed their flagship product so it was really awesome all right just trying to get this last cable through here uh oh looks like cowboys are on a run here who's that running hopefully it's not powered was it? Okay, it wasn't. Oh, I think it was. Shoot. I might lose. Am I losing now? Asking my wife. She's in our... We're both in the same fantasy team, so... Or league, so you can imagine the jiving back and forth that, that takes place. All right, just connecting up the PCIe cables in the back. Okay, don't twist these up. There we go. Okay, sorry guys, you probably can't really. I'm just connecting the PCIe cables to the PCIe cables, so the ones for the GP, GPU to the actual power supply. Come on now. Oh, I was doing it upside down. That typically doesn't help. And we're gonna get this one. Um. Okay, so the rest of the cables that I got here that coming off the power supply are just SATA and there's like one Molex. We're just going to wad this up and shove it in there because we don't have any use for that stuff. Because we don't have any kind of like RGB controllers that we're going to be connecting up. This is a pretty, pretty simple build and you know we don't have any hard drives, nothing like that. We just got the NVMe drive that's on the board, so it makes this step very easy. But I'll show you. We got a little bit of some bulk to deal with back here, guys. So <laughs> this is what happens when you uh, do cable extensions. Um, is what it is for now. As I mentioned, in I, I typically stay away from doing cable management on stream, and we just get the test, the post test done, make sure it all runs. And then you see it in its beautiful 100% glory state when I do just a follow-up video at the end, which is where we'll be testing. Because remember, uh, some of you guys who might have came in late, this PC's main focus is to be able to play Starfield uh, under a $500 budget. So hit the $500 budget plus have the enough system requirements that are at least a, a small step above the the rec or I'm sorry the minimum. To play the game so that way we can uh we can really do that so anyway um i think we're we're all set i'm just doing quick double checks but what do you guys think about the cable extensions although you know they need to be tidied up try to I could probably put like a zip tie on these down below so that these run kind of more straight like that but um i'm thinking it needs uh, maybe just a little bit more red and maybe we do experiment 
painting this route. I have a billion of these coolers anyway. So if I paint it red and it doesn't look good, whatever. But what do you guys think? Should I paint that red and give a little bit more red pop to this build? I think I think that would look great. Hopefully I can match the uh, the color tone. I also thought about that too, like getting like maybe putting this fan up front and then just getting one like red RGB fan. That might be kind of cool too. But then obviously that's the that's an extra. So that that's blowing the budget in terms of that. But you know, I mean, we the, the main focus was the original parts hunt. Like we we know we can build a, a good gaming PC. We didn't have to do the cable extensions. And you can just go with what this is and you know later down the road make your upgrades or aesthetic upgrades what whatever but i think it's time to figure out if this thing will post and i just gotta go off screen real quick to grab my portable monitor we'll get that set up and see how she does one second guys Okay, just gonna get this monitor set up. I just have it off screen because you know we need room to work. Hey, where'd that go? Oh, here we go. These are really nifty. I really like these little portable monitors. Perfect for this type of content or use. Also perfect if you are traveling and you need like an extra monitor for your laptop or. You happen to have a small PC that you, that you can pack away in a bag. Really handy. And it's pretty decent real estate as far as screen size. Now, it's it's going to mess with my camera a little bit. Uh, it's going to throw off my ISO a little. Always tends to do that. Um, just because i got an autofocus going on right now. So, let's get the PC power plugged in. we got the monitor power plugged in. i got a power cable down here somewhere. Here we go. Always tend to leave them over here for this purpose. Got a little dusty back here because I haven't done a live stream build in a while. Okay. I think I accidentally flipped. Yeah. I think we're good. Okay, moment of truth. Three, two, one, will it post? Ooh, I didn't realize that uh, sapphire light lights up. Now that's cool. That's a little extra red. Mm. Uh-oh, what's that? <laughs> oh, that's the cable dragon. <laughs> Did you guys catch that? Uh-oh. I'm going to shut that down real quick. What is that dragon on? Oh, I know what it is. It's the GPU cable or something. Okay, so we got to be careful with that. Oh, I think the bracket might be grabbing it. Let me move that out of the way. No, I don't think so. It might be the cables. Shoot. Yeah, we're pretty tight down here. I don't know if it posted there. I just flipped it off real quick because we <laughs> had some cables dragging. I'm going to make some space. I'm just going to pull them out a little. Yeah, we might have to run those a little bit different because that is tight. I didn't realize how tight it was. I mean, it was tight, but okay. I think I got them out of the way. Let's give that one more try. That was funny. I think that's a first. Cable's dragging. I'm just uh, trying to keep you guys entertained. And, uh, hopefully you are. <laughs> All right, so we're booting. Hopefully we got fans spinning. I'm looking at my monitor. And oh, yes. Nice. We got a post. All right. Uh, oops, I forgot to plug in this fan. Yeah, funny. That's fine. We're open. That's not going to hurt anything. Main thing is we got the component fan spinning, which are CPU and GPU, which now we know the GPU fans are spinning because they're not dragging on the power cables. Hilarious. Oh, man. 
Well, if this hasn't been anything but a snafu stream, then hopefully you guys at least found it entertaining because, yeah, there's definitely a lot of things that happened that I wasn't planning for, but I guess that's what happens when you uh, sit out for six months on live stream and then come back to it. Uh, there was a lot of things, actually, even prior to the stream, I was fighting. Like, I was up to the wire <laughs> here, but... Um, anyway, oh, man, he gave me a post reward. Hell yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, the net guy with the super chat... Um, so, yeah, maybe I can just make some money, you know, building PCs and praying that they post as long as people keep donating if they do. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, man, that's funny. Uh, so I just d uh, double check in the chat here, see if anybody else got anything else to add here as far as content-wise or questions. Post it did. Fan cables. Oh, yeah, yep, that was what we were dealing with. There we go. Nice, nice. Yep. I own one cent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're watching. I'm yeah, that's so weird how that does that. I noticed that, too. But thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, appreciate your time with this one especially your patience with the snafus er, early and midstream and here um but i always like to try to keep it entertaining entertaining and fun for you guys stay tuned within about a week or so i'm going to put this build through the test we're going to clean it up make it look more beautiful than it is now but i think the red theme and black theme going is is definitely spot on for this build and we'll see if it can play some starfield all right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for the, tuning in. Catch you later.